Well, have you seen this? This video is reigniting allegations that Tea Parties are racist. Democratic Congressman Emmanuel Cleaver claims that that man in the circle there spit on him. The next guest questions whether the spitting was intentional or not, or even the guy was who we thought he was. Anyway, Lisa Fritch is a writer and radio talk show host. And Lisa, we've seen this before uh, where we, we take an event, it looks a certain way, the media runs with it, all Tea Parties are racist. Frank Rich, the columnist of the New York Times, essentially saying that, um, and many others before him. What do you make uh, of, of just this continued line of attack? You know, no disrespect to Mr. Cleaver. The bottom line is, is that whether he was spit on intentionally or not, it really doesn't matter. Truly, Americans no longer need to fear racist and racism in this country. That's secondary. The real threat to the good life in America right now is socialism and everything that's in this health care bill that is sending us down a path of destruction. So the American people are not going to be distracted, Neil, by these tactics that someone was spit on, someone was called the N-word. What happened to, it's good for protests, it's good for us to dissent, and we have a right to speak out against the president, against policies we don't agree with. What happened to that? Um, as an African-American, though, on any level are you offended, just on that level, by those charges? Well, in my point of view, it, it doesn't really, as an African-American, it doesn't matter. We have to stand united as Americans for what's, what's right in this country and what's wrong. The health care bill was wrong. It, it would be one thing if they went with the American people and all of the Republicans and the conservatives simply were outnumbered and the American people wanted to go down this path. The fact is, they did not. They went behind our, our backs. Obama and his administration applied Tony Soprano-like tactics and went against the will of the American people, and we have a right to be angry. Now but that Lisa, it's passed, that's not how it's portrayed in the media, right? When Frank Rich says, among other things, the Tea Party movement is virtually all white, and their anxieties about a rapidly changing America are well-grounded. The conjunction of a black president, a female speaker of the House, topped by a wise Latina of the Supreme Court, and a powerful gay congressional committee chairman, with so fears of disenfranchisement among a dwindling and threatened minority in the country, no matter what policies were in play. What do you make of that? The media is lying, and they're getting caught in their lies. How is it that the media told us when this president was elected, he was elected by the majority, he's been the most popular president? You mean to tell me that all of those people now are the same people who voted for him are racist? Americans are proud to have diversity. They're proud to have a black president. I'm proud to have a black president, even though I don't agree with a darn thing he's tried to enforce upon the American people. I'm not, I, I, you know, I don't have, I don't have any anything against Nancy Pelosi as a woman, but she doesn't deserve her role in, uh, in our government. But we see more and more of it, though, they, right? They've cheated. Whether it's a comedian like a Bill Maher who says the teabaggers, they're not a movement, they're a cult. Uh, of course, Jean Garofalo's comments are very famous. Uh, she said, let's be honest about what this is about. It's not about bashing Democrats. It's not about taxes. They have no idea what the Boston Tea Party was about. Um, this is all about hating a black man in the White House, and on and on and on. If the Tea Partiers were not effective, we wouldn't have anything to discuss. If they weren't representative of most of the American people, there would be, there would be nothing to be afraid of. And, and I do think a lot of those Democrats who voted for that bill do have a lot to be afraid of in no November because no matter the emotional arguments that they try to put forth, the bottom line is that people's premiums are going to go up. People are unemployed. Hard-working, decent people are losing their jobs. And it's the middle class, it's, it's lower class. We are all concerned about the direction of this country. And saying that it's racism isn't going to make that go away. And by the way, how can it be that much racism when he's half black? He's just as, he's just as white as Nancy Pelosi. How can it be racist? He's not even completely black. Well, what is going on? On and on, the, the battle rages over sometimes things that shouldn't be even in the discussion. But Lisa Fritz, thank you very, very much. Thank you, Neil. Good